All right, happy Friday. Let's get into it, our end of the week workout. A couple things before we get going. We got, remember our t-shirts are on sale on your push press apps, seeing those come through. Got about four different uh, kinds in there. Make sure you guys get your sizes in correctly, your quantities and uh, color options are all in there. We got blues and grays, a couple different uh, logos. And then we're looking at getting our sweatshirts by the end of this month. So probably early October, right when the weather starts to change, get into that sweat sweatshirt weather. So we'll get those going for you guys here soon. Remember Labor Day is coming up on Monday, 9 a.m. class and an 11 a.m. class. And then our gymnastics seminar, mark your calendars now, October 24th. Okay, so for today's workout, today is all about quality of movement. We're not necessarily looking for how fast you finish this. We're looking for quality here, okay? So really focusing on the movement. So here they are, three high box jumps. What is high? High could be as high as you wanna go. So it's only three of them. So we want this to be a challenging, really working on the explosive movement, right? Really focusing on hinging at those hips, exploding through those hamstrings, and getting up to the top. So 30 inches, maybe that's high for you. Maybe that's not really that bad. Maybe you want to up it up. So you'll put a 30 inch box, you'll add a couple plate stacks to it to make it difficult for you. And really focusing on that explosive and the nice soft landing. Okay, remember when we land, I want to think about it being in a half squat position. Feet are flat, not hanging off the boxes, not landing on our toes, quiet landing, knees are out and not concaving in. Okay, so really focus on that. We're gonna then do 10 banded push-ups. You can make this as difficult as you want. If it's not difficult with a band, you can throw a plate on your back as well. Just um, working on the quality of movement there, not necessarily trying to just pump them out just willy-nilly, but actually adding some resistance there. Jumping squats, if this is too easy for you, you again can hold a weight, can make it difficult as you want. But basically, yeah, we're gonna squat down, we're gonna explode out of the bottom of that jump, and then land quietly on our flat feet and sink right back into the bottom. Trying to make sure you can do all 10 on broken. Um, and like I said, really focusing on that explosion out of that squat is gonna be important. That's gonna help us get better down the road in our box jumps and then in our snatch movements, our clean and jerks, all that. Okay, it's really important. Then we're gonna go banded barbell row. So in the typical barbell row, we're just gonna bend over and pull in, right? But this time we're gonna add some bands to it if it's to make it a little bit harder. What that does is it creates a different set of resistance on the way up and on the way down. So we're gonna control it a little bit more instead of just kind of pulling through it and getting it done. 10 V-ups, these are more difficult than you think. To really do a V-up properly, remember you wanna just balance the hip bones on the ground. It's gonna be completely flat. We're gonna come up at the same time, touch hands and toes together, okay? Um, and then control it back down as opposed to just letting it go. And then we're gonna finish off with a 20 cal row at an easy to moderate pace, okay? For today, there's no tracks. You can modify any way you need to. Like I said, if you can't do jumping, just air squats would be fine. Uh, high box step ups are fine. And if the banded stuff is too much for you, you can just do regular movements if that is already difficult for you. Quality of movement, not necessarily for time. Four rounds through, making sure you practice um, Focusing on technique, that's the biggest thing this week. We've been harping on it all week. You know it's been a kind of a deload week, but we've been harping on it. Technique, 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 because when we get back into it next week, we're gonna make sure that everything we've been practicing for is going to be put into place when we turn up that intensity and get back into it. So um, I'm looking forward to next week as well. I'm looking forward to this one. Looking forward to the weekend. Happy Labor Day weekend, guys. Uh, make sure you get this in. Enjoy yourself this weekend. See you on Monday for our hero workout, and then we'll get back at it next week.